Hey, I am Innistinct Tyrant from Germany. That's why I have this weird accent. And in today's, well, I don't know if I should call it a tutorial because I just want to show you how um, I managed to get very good smoke simulations in Blender. Um, so I don't call it a tutorial. If you want a full tutorial, you can just leave me a comment. But today I'm just going to show you my settings, etc. So this is the uh, smoke simulation I came up with. This is right now Eevee. That's why it doesn't look that great. If we would change to cycles, we can see that it looks a lot better and pretty good for Blender. Um, I didn't know that uh, Blender was capable of such good smoke simulations. What I did is just set up a simple sphere, um, which I animated with a um, noise modifier in the graph editor. So you just insert one keyframe at the start and then um, by pressing N in the modifiers tab you can just add a noise uh, for location um, in all three directions and it will move randomly. So next I set up the quick smoke and changed some parameters. For example I set the domain to a resolution of 150, high resolution of 2 of course I enabled adaptive domain and I baked everything. I also set um, the flow type to fire plus smoke, um, the temperature diff to zero, the smoke, f uh, the flame rate to 0.3 and checked initial velocity with a normal of one. This is what gave me this pretty cool looking smoke. Okay, so for the shading I didn't do much, I just up the density to 10 and the black body intensity to 40 which gives this really uh, good looking fire and the temperature to 1100 and this is everything I don't have any lights in my scene I set the background to transparent and this very simple setup gives actually very clean smoke results if we would now go ahead and render um, the smoke we can see that it looks very, very good and very realistic. Um, one thing uh, is that you have to bake your smoke because um, without baking it won't show up in your renders. This is what like irritated me the most when I started doing more smoke simulations. And so this is my final simulation. Mm, I think it looks great. We can of course add more high resolution, but it's also needs more resources which I currently don't have. So um, this is what I'm going with. If you want a full tutorial on how I did this um, or especially um, or like concentrated on how to do smoke simulations you can leave me a comment and until next video bye.